welcome to all in this session very good evening to one and all who are attending this this is a lecture series now this is the eighth session of 12 sessions every month there is one session conducted uh, it was the idea of honorable principal from the rvs homeopathic medical college and our beloved guru, Dr. Shekhar Algungi, sir. So we conjoin association of Swara Homeo Gurukul and RVS Homeopathic Medical College. We are conducting this webinar series, especially for students who will get orientation of different concepts in homeopathy which are new and which may not be present in books even because everyday homeopathy is developing. So new development sh should be known to the students and this is the aim or the goal for arranging this series. So in this series today we are going to learn about some snake remedies, Ophidia group. Before going into the main subject, let me tell you about the concept of kingdom differentiation, which is already discussed in previous lectures, but let me just brush up the things. Mainly there are remedies prepared from three kingdoms, plants, minerals, and animals. Yes, I agree that there are no swords, sarcodes, and imparcodes are part of animals only. No swords are also in small number. So the major part of our homeopathy has three sources, plants, minerals, and animals. So plants has to do with sensitivity. Plants can move from one place to another place to avoid any bad thing. So they are very sensitive and they show their sensitivity in different aspects. So patient who requires medicine from plant kingdom will show more about the sensitivity. Some sensation and its opposite sensation. For example, if you take anacardiasi family, rust talks, there's the sensation of stiffness. And the opposite is amelioration by continuous motion. So that will be the problem for plants. Another is mineral. In mineral kingdom, the issue is about either structure, whether I am developed or not developed, whether I am lacking something or I am losing something. Issues about relationship and bond. So relationship is described in the form of a bond. Then in animal, the main issue is of survival. And for survival, they have to compete with others. So there is always a competition, me versus you. So these are the themes run in almost every remedy you will find who require these types of remedies. So when we take a case, at the level of sensation, we are able to differentiate this kingdom first, then it is very smooth going for reaching to the right remedy. So if you think about animals, then animals are naturally classified like this animal kingdom into vertebrate, annelids, mollusk, nematodes, and arthropods. So if we just see vertebrates, vertebrates are divided into again five classes. Fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. So fish are living in water. Amphibians can live in water and on the soil. Reptiles are living on the soil, but they most of them, especially snakes, are limbless. Birds have developed legs, but their wings are more stronger. 
and mammals have stronger limbs so they can walk so every category every class of the animal has a distinct features so today we will learn about snakes which is a which are from the group of reptiles among reptiles when we say ophidia group that means we talk about poisonous snakes but there are non poisonous snakes also basically there are two types of snakes poisonous and non poisonous there are different families from snake we have already learned in plants there are families or natural orders but i must tell you among animals also there are families so i have given few examples over here it's a boidy family where boa constrictor and python come these are non poisonous snakes so their oh, method oh, of oh, oh, oh. they constrict their prey and kill it another family is colubridae where you find grass snake king snake or corn snake another is elapidae we find snakes like cobra tiger snake and black mamba or even elaps coralinus another family is viperidae there are two types of vipers pit viper and pitless vipers among viperidae there is one more sub family is crotalidae where crotal snakes are there crotalus horridus crotalus cascavela lachesis and these snakes come under that family behavior of snake natural behavior their motion is serpentine motion their way of defense when they come across la bigger enemy they have to defend themselves so there are different methods of defense very first thing is that they hide themselves if they can't hide they will change their skin color and that is called as camouflage if still they find there is a big threat they will fly flight means they will run away but if they consider that threat is not too big they will try to intimidate that thing that enemy how they can intimidate again there are different ways either flaring of wood hissing warning colors or multiple color bands so they try to intimidate their enemy see this is the way that they can change the color this changing color capacity of the skin is called as camouflage here in the right side picture actually you can't differentiate the color of snake and the color of surrounding things that much camouflage they can do one more slide you will see this how they can change their skin color in order to hide the method of attack there are two methods one is they will sit and wait for their prey or they are active hunters both possibilities are there but important thing is there is planning and plotting they will plan first and they will make a strategy how to kill their prey and this is reflected in our patient's talk second thing they will do is they will seduce the victim by showing tail especially this happens in case of crotalus cascavela snake 
their method of attack is very fast with a lightning speed and they will attack from behind that is called ambush attack means you don't find anything and suddenly from nowhere they will attack with blurring speed and there is pinpoint accuracy this is very important and this feature you will find in good predators this type of accuracy one you will find in prey birds like hawk like eagle the method of killing is of two types the non poisonous snakes like python they will kill by constriction they will coil around and will crush their prey you can see this in the picture constricting another method is they will kill by suffocation and the poisonous snakes will kill you by inserting by biting and inserting the poison into your body so when patient talks in front of us how they express these things they will explain in these words probably concealed and never seen usually snake are not visible easily they remain hidden they remain concealed and they will come out only to get their prey another quality is disguise they will try to disguise in so many ways camouflage is one of the activity close and no way ahead once they attack there is no way ahead so when any constrictor snake gets the prey that prey cannot live it has to die hiding and deceit they are deceitful like insects there is sudden movement when they have to attack their movement is sudden sudden unpredictable attack you cannot predict from which side they will come how they will come when they will come that is total unpredictable and that is called ambush attack fear of death or fear of being attacked being pursued and wants to hide so patient feels that i am being pursued by others and i want to go away in such a place where i cannot be pursued any more ambush attack and desire to kill you can see one of the feature of snake is their s shape movement and this is found as a quality of seduction also in old history you will find there are many girls were used to seduce the enemy and to kill them they were given snake poisons and those were called poison girls vishakanya and any person even touches to them used to get die that was the effect of poison given to them so that is for seduction and killing some group symptoms this snake group has some common symptoms competition so they as they are animal they have to survive by competing with others and in this competition there is one upmanship i want to be better than others i want to be superior but the opposite feeling is i am at disadvantage basically this is found because they don't have limbs so they cannot run too fast if there is 
plane surface, they cannot run fast. You might have watched them on the tar road. They cannot run away fast. And they may get killed under the tires of vehicles once they come on the road. So as their limbs are absent, they are at disadvantage. So when they are at disadvantage, they have to survive by any how. So for survival, they will become cunning. So must become cunning in order to survive. There will be issue of superiority and inferiority. Either they will feel superior or inferior. inferior. This is the polarity they have. Plans and conspiracy. So as they feel themselves weak, they cannot go for face-to-face -face attack, face-to-face -face fight. First, they will plan. And then there will be conspiracy which will be executed afterwards. Calculative scamming. So with the plan, there is calculation. At this point, this will happen. At this point, this will happen. So everything is calculated. They are manipulative. They can change the things for their benefit. They are jealous and suspicious. One more quality that patient explained that antagonism with himself. Now let me tell you, that this thing is found in many animal cases, not only with snake, because there is one vital force, vital energy, which is the human energy, which has human qualities. And this is the DC energy, which is other animal energy which is overpowering our vital force. So sometimes that person behaves according to that other energy, the disease energy and does wrong things, does bad things, crimes, all misdeeds. And when he comes out from the influence of that energy for time being, then he feels disgust about himself, feels that whatever he has done, he feels guilty for that. So these two sides run parallelly in that person's mind. So there is a split in his thought. Some people say that, you know, that patient has by far, patient has this type of two thoughts because that snakes tongue is bifurcated. Similarly, there is a bifurcation in the thought process. One more quality is sexuality. Sexuality just like insects, but more of seduction. And in that there are there is lack of morals. Exhibitism is one of the feature of sexuality in snake. Clairvoyance is another quality. They have totally different sense. You can say sixth sense so that they can get either dreams or delusions of clairvoyance. Especially you will find this in the remedy lacashes. They are clear one. As they are feeling weak, they feel they are vulnerable. So they want to get accepted and for that acceptance or for achieving their goal, they are becoming show off and attractive in the appearance. The appearance becomes attractive so that they can seduce and get person should get attracted to them. 
there are certain differences. If we can remember the differences from different subclasses or classes of the animal, we can better understand their qualities. So here there is a difference between mammals versus snake. Sorry, I just put it in a different way. Mammals are warm-blooded and snakes are cold-blooded. Mammals live in herd, but snakes usually want to remain alone. So their appearance is solitary, except some families in viperidae. Maternal affections are more among mammals. That's why they are called mammals, because they give birth directly to the children, offspring. Among snakes, maternal affections are completely absent, except python. In python, there are some maternal affections found. Mammals have developed their senses of sight and hearing better. This you can find in lacan, in dogs. Their sense of hearing is too much, well developed. Among cats, you will find sense of sight is well developed. They can walk even at night, even in the dark. Similarly, among snakes, the sense of smell is more developed. Snakes don't have ears, so their hearing sense is not developed. As they can't stand, they cannot see the things which are at distant place. So their sense of sight is also weak, but their sense of smell is too much developed. At the same time, their sense of touch is also well developed. So when they find any predator coming or any enemy coming, just by vibrations of the soil, vibrations of the surface underlying their body, they can sense it because of oversensitive skin. Mammals have well-developed legs, so they are able to walk. Snakes are limbless, so they can't walk. They have to just glide or creep. And so they feel they are at disadvantage. The method of attack for mammals is they can bite and tear. Snakes will either constrict, constrictor snakes or poisonous snakes will bite and will insert the poison. In this way, we can differentiate among the mammals and the snake. One more class we can differentiate is spider. Spiders don't have any planning, so their attack is impulsive, but it is tricky. So spiders make something tricky, but in case of snake, there is a planning and plotting. Both are cunning. Spiders are also cunning and snakes are also cunning, but the method of attack is impulsive and tricky for spiders. Snakes first make plans and then attack. Their attack or their things are temporary. Their anger is also temporary. But in snake, it is not temporary. They will remember it and they will take revenge. So they are revengeful and suspicious. If you see activity-wise, spiders will be constantly moving. Constant activity is there. But if you see snakes, 
there is a short burst of intense activity, otherwise they are lazy. You know, once a snake gets its prey as food, snake will remain lazy for long time, even for many days, even a month. They don't need food afterwards. But spiders cannot have that quality. So there is a constant activity in order to get prey. Shamelessness. Shamelessness you will find in both remedies. Spider remedies as well as snake remedies. But spiders are directly shameless. Snakes are seductive. If you see miasm wise, most of the spiders fall under tubercular miasm, while most of the snakes have syphilitic miasm. So in this way, we can understand different qualities of snake. And when we understand these qualities, when patient comes and gives his symptoms, we can make sure that whether this patient first belongs to plant kingdom or mineral kingdom or animal kingdom. If it is animal kingdom, then which class of the animal, whether it is mollusk or it is invertebrate, whether it is snake class or spider class, fish class or bird class or mammal. Every class has its own group symptoms. Just like, like I told you about the symptoms of group symptoms of the snake. There are group symptoms of mammals. There are group symptoms of spiders. Just we have see, seen the, this differentiation. So we have to first differentiate the kingdom, then differentiate the sub kingdom. And then in that sub kingdom, we have to look for the remedies. Our whole study of these natural behaviors and patterns of the different animals or plants is in order to find the similar features in the patient and then we can find out the right remedy for our patients. I want to show you one case. I will show it in the way that it's taken so that you can understand it very easily. Let me share my screen. It's a case of hyperacidity and urticaria. I couldn't record the case in first visit. So what I, this is the verbatim from that recording. And that recording was done in the follow-up. So there are some questions were asked in order to get the previous symptoms. So remember here D is for doctor and P is for patient. So the case went in this way. Please tell me about your problems. And patient said, I have urticaria. It comes any time of the day, every day or alternate day. Now its size has reduced. When medicine was there, still it was there. There is too much itching. Brother interrupts in between. Brother tells something. So again, I want to tell you that patient had come one visit before this and was given medicine. The same medicine was given. And he has reduced in intensity of urticaria. But what he describes about urticaria is the thing to be noted that urticaria comes any time of the day, every day or alternate day. So you cannot predict that at what time it will come. Now you can correlate as you know that there is no puzzle for this case. Definitely this case belongs to some snake remedy, of course. 
So now whatever features and characteristics we have understood about snakes, try to correlate with the narration of patient you will come to know. We have learned that snake attack is ambush attack, sudden attack without knowing. This urticaria comes in the same way. It comes at any time. This is the perception of patient. Whatever things we have to see, we have to see according to the perception of patient, not our patient. So we should not be prejudiced to interpret anything. Just take it as it is. Then I ask him to tell about acidity problem. So patient corrected me. No, it is not acidity. It was stomach pain. It has reduced. Not 100%, but it is less. So I asked, what was that? When I eat non-veg or spicy, like chana misal or chicken, I get twisting pain in the stomach and loose motions. Now it has reduced by 50%. So I asked him, other doctor, you told me that your problem is due to anger. So he had visited another doctor, Ayurvedic physician before coming to me and he was getting acidity after take, eating non-veg every time. So the doctor said that you are too much angry, so reduce your anger, then your acidity will go like that. So I wanted to ask him about that anger. That's why I asked this type of question. So patient says yes. So what makes you angry? He said even a small, small things. What happens in that? It's not simple anger. In anger, I feel like crushing the head of that person. That's the intensity of my anger. Please note it down. Intensity of anger. Whoever will trouble me, I will never leave him without injuring that person. Small mistake is okay. I will give warning. But if he has done big mistake, then I will get sanak to my head. This sanak is word in Marathi or even in Hindi also it is used. It is some lightening sensation to the head. Some impulse to the head. Not physically I will harm. But I never leave him without doing mental damage to that person. I don't find peace until I complete my revenge. Even if I get a mosquito bite during sleep, I get tremendous anger. I will wake up and I will kill at least 20 to 25 mosquitoes and then I will become calm. Okay, so whoever will trouble me, I never leave him without injuring that person. Please tell me about this. So now he started telling, I am not physically powerful. So I damage that front person mentally. I injure him and then spread a handful of salt over it and will go out. So when I was in 10th standard, our principal was egoistic. It was harmful to the student of next batches. So I broke her pride. Gamant. Other teachers also praised me that there was a need for someone like you. I think this thing that no one does, I do it first. See, the pride he is showing. When someone goes against me, then I get him. Two days back, my father was taking dinner and there was a table in my way to go out. I said, please move that table because it will trouble for you too. He got angry. I also got angry. 
because I was telling him for his comfort. My words were humble, but he didn't listen. So he was telling a different story. So I wanted to ask him about more anger. So I asked for the other incidents. So you told me the last time that some incidents with a friend. He said, no, not a friend. He is my enemy. I said, okay, whoever he is, you were angry with him. He's, he just stopped him, stopped me and started telling, yeah, I destroyed him enough. This is the Marathi expression that he gave. <clears throat> I left nothing for him. I made him almost to sit at home only. Due to COVID, he couldn't do anything. Now he has taken admission for a degree course in another town. I taught him a hard lesson. It will remain constantly in front of his eyes. First, I took his friends away. I damaged him economically. He almost became a beggar. When his money got over, friends went away. He had a beloved girlfriend. She was from rich family and he wanted to marry her. I told her about his reality and she also went away. He cried his heart out. From all sides he is damaged, he said. He had troubled me a lot. He tried to dash me with his bike. He used to come in front of me with high speed and suddenly goes along my side. Zoop. I said, okay, I will get you. See, at that time, he didn't do anything because he was walking and that other person was on bike. So he was at disadvantage. So he said, okay, I will get you. And see how suddenly he changed his subject. If you hit a snake with stick, even after one year, you come to the same place, snake will snake remembers it. And when he sees you, once he sees you, he will attack you, will trouble you. I don't know you believe or not, but whose birth date is one is angry person. My birth date is 11th November, 11, 11. So I am four times angrier. Lord Shankara has 50%. Lord Shankara's 50% anger goes. An impulse used to go to my head. Brother informed that mummy used to teach him a, to write with the right hand and he was a left-handed. So there was anger. So when parents were forcing, he used to get angry. His forehead was getting hot. When he started attending class, then he started studying properly. So at home, he was not studying properly because parents were forcing him to write with right hand and he was a left hand. So again, patients started telling. So there was an annual function in the school. So that was the subject what she wa he was talking about principle. Now see how he was changing different subjects from one story to the another story. So principal order that all should dance. I don't like dance. Even Dandiya. So he doesn't like Dandiya also. So she told me you must dance because I am telling you to dance. I didn't like it. I said, I won't dance just because you want it. I am not a bar dancer. 
she said i am principal and it's, it's my order you have to get up and dance i said no song started but i was i was standing there but i didn't dance no means no i will do what i want and then on next day she punished me she kept me outside the class for 6 hours i was there like a statue even for a second i didn't take the support of the wall there was a girl she used to trouble me a lot at last i met her father and complained about her he beat on her very badly so in this case also he told that he gave her warning two three times that don't trouble me and finally as she was a girl so he cannot hit her directly so he went to his father her father and complained in a very detailed and even more putting more masala to it so that that father got very angry and he beat on her so i asked her ask him in what way she was troubling and how it affected you she used to tell my friends not to play with me not to talk with me even she was accusing me falsely telling lies to my friends and teachers abusing my family members she abused my brother she accused that he was after girls she abused my mother and then father then i see there is a limit for everything when she was abusing my brother i told her to keep quiet when she was abusing my mother i warned her you have to wait till that person commit 100 crimes i hope you must be knowing the story of shishupal and shri krishna so that shri krishna bared 100 crimes of shishupal and after 100 crimes he made crime again then he killed him so when she abused my dad i took my stand see this is the quality and especially in case of elapidi family of the snake they first give you warning by showing their hood by showing or giving the hissing sound they intimidate so that you don't interrupt me don't trouble me otherwise i will bite you so see what he is explaining when she abused my dad so brother was abused mother was abused he won but still she was doing the same thing so i took my stand i told that her mother is prostitute go and ask your father he may not know is he your father or not this is the abusive language that he used how did it feel like when you angry so i will throw things at anyone tremendous anger front person is to be finished now see this is the syphilitic tendency fight to finish attack to finish this is syphilis destruction complete destruction i said sorry i don't i didn't understand so he explained i can't tolerate injustice at all i can't tolerate false accuses if i have made a mistake i will keep mum but that to some extent after that limit i can't control i know one thing i am not physically strong see twice or thrice he is telling the same thing i am not physically strong i am not physically strong this is the feeling coming directly from the source that i am at disadvantage i am limbless i have no physical strength so i never attack physically i have very sharp brain it's god's gift i know how to destroy any person so i believe in this 
and he was showing his head and not this. That means he was showing his arm. Normally, person tries to harm physically, but I know it will be of no use. So when that person will turn to go back, I will take a big stone and hammer on his head. See, he has completely described the way he will attack. He will attack when the front person will not know it. He will attack from behind. So I asked one more different question. So tell me which personality you like. See, this is not a complete case. I will just make it shorter. So which personality you like? He said Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. So which qualities of him you like the most? He said respect to women. Proper judgment. Good character. Good name. The person who vocals against injustice. In his kingdom, people were happy. You know how others treated Indian ladies. But he never did it. He cut hands off his even brother-in-law. He, he punished his brother-in-law. I like his justice. I have locket of him and he showed his locket in his neck. So, which season you tolerate better? He said, I can't tolerate cold. I catch cold easily and get throat pain. I can't breathe properly, feel suffocated. I get angry. So any small trouble makes him angry. Nose is running. I can't go out. I take medicines one after another. Want to recover fast. I like to live in my own world. You know snake, see, again he is giving example of snake. You know snake, he lives in his own world. Whistles, swims, roams, but no one should threaten him. So second time he was giving example of snake. So I asked him, what may happen? And he replied, snake lives in his own world. It lies there in cold air. No one should threaten him. I don't like being abused. If anyone has abused me, I will remember it even after five years. I don't like to be insulted. I know I am not a big shot person. But everyone has self-respect. And you should respect me. Otherwise, I will finish it. Actually, I have to ask about this finishing, but it was the another word that I caught already in my mind. So I asked this. So what is insult? Because he said, nah, I don't like being insulted. So don't be a beggar. If you are not at fault, no one should blame you. No one can predict what will happen tomorrow. Now a tea seller has become prime minister. Whole world salutes him. We had a boy in our class. See how he is jumping from one subject to another subject. We had a boy in our class. Many students used to trouble him. I protected him. Beaten a few who were abusing him. He had beaten few guys from his class. Those were abusing that weak person. Weak class, weak boy of the class. Since then, no one troubled him. On the day of send-off from the school, he gave a small speech and thanked me. I live in my world. I live in my world and behave decent with all. So I ask one more question for confirmation. Which animals you like? He said, I like snake only for his nature. I don't like his body. See how precisely he is telling. 
So I ask, what's wrong in that? It looks odd. There are no legs. That looks odd. Body looks like, body look wise, I like lion and tiger. Up to this point, it was going like a smooth journey. There was only one animal in the patient's narration. So now he has brought tiger and lion. So what to do with it? It's more confusing, na? So I ask, describe about it. Tell me about lion and tiger. So he said, lion is the king of jungle. Don't look at body, body size. Otherwise, elephant would be the king. Again, he is talking about weakness of the body. When lioness is pregnant, he goes for hunting for her. He never troubles her. See, even in case of Shivaji Maharaj, he said that he protected the ladies. He didn't behave wrongly with the women. Takes her care. When any pregnant cow is there, he never kills her. Actually, I don't know. It happens with lion or not. But this is what he is telling. That means the respect about the poor people. Cow is a symbol of very calm and poor guy. Na? He knows there is a baby yet to born. And this is called king. So he is a protector of small kid which is there in the womb of that cow. So I like this nature of lion and he smiles. Tiger waits quietly for long time at one place in bushes, keeps his head cool and then suddenly attacks without letting know. I like his strategy to plan and kill. I said, thank you very much. I will give you medicine. So medicine was given, which was already given to him. But he explored more things about the qualities of that remedy, which he had not told in the previous, that means the first case, first interview. So you have heard this verbatim. Is there any answer, any suggestion of the remedy for this case you can type in the chat box any suggestion about the remedy for this case don't hesitate to answer your answer may go wrong it doesn't matter Failure is the first step of success. Okay, very good. One suggestion is Naja. Yeah, it can be Lakeshis. Good suggestion. I must tell you that there are more than 50 remedies available from snakes. And in our syllabus, in our degree college, we know only few remedies like Naja, Lakeshis, which are taught more. And other few are like Elaps, Coralinus, Crotalus, Horridus, Crotalus, Cascavela, Vipera, Torva, like this. But if there are 50 remedies, then confusion becomes more. Which one is to be chosen? Like Sankrich Contour Tricks is there, Python is there, Black Mamba, that is called Dendroapsis Polytapis. It is not like that. Naja will not uh, attack the opponent, it is not true. What Naja will do is Naja, that is what I am going to tell you now. We will discuss it. Now again, let me share my screen. 
we will go back to the PowerPoint. This was the case verbatim. This case requires a remedy from Elapidi family. Now, Elapidi family has these expressions in the patient, sensitive to being injured. The opposite side is they will injure the other person. So, sensitivity to injury is there. So, there is a desire to injure others. What he said, na? He said that I will take a big stone and will throw onto his head. So, that injuring head is the quality. And if you see any snake, when it is killed, how it is killed? It is killed by injuring his head. So, sensitivity to head injury is found in snake, but especially you will find it is proved in the proving of Naja. Sensitive to about to get delusion is about to get injury to head. So, there is a desire to fight, bite, kick or box. These are all different ways of injuring other. And the opposite delusion is about to receive injury. So this is the polarity. They want to injure others and they have delusion that they will receive injury. So whatever you do to others, you have fear that you will get it revert. The method of attack for elapidy person is different. They will attack only when threatened, provoked or cornered or intruded. That is what he described. Na? That he said, I remain in my own world. Don't threaten me. If you threaten, I will first warn. And if still you don't stop, then I will attack. And once I attack, it will be finished. So they warn before attack. bite in multiple times. Not a single time they bite. They do not bite and run away. That is found in viper eddy snake. They will bite and run away. Even you will not understand that they have bitten. That is the quality of viper eddy. But in elapidy family, they bite multiple times, bite and hold tightly. Because they have to insert the poison. Elapidy snakes live and act alone. They don't need company. Confront. So first they will give warning. But if that front enemy is not stopping the activity, they, then there is a confrontation. And in confrontation, when the snake is ready, there is no care whether they will live or will die. Doesn't matter. That is the issue of do or die. And when these elapid snakes bite, their poisons will cause either cardiac failure or respiratory failure. So they are cardiotoxins and neurotoxins. So they act on muscles and nerves. So when your heart goes in failure and lungs go in failure, person cannot survive. So remedies from Elapidi family are Elaps, Naja and Black Mamba. So which one is to be given to this patient? Because these are different remedies of the, from the snakes. So it is called Black Mamba is Dendroapsis, Elaps Coralinus. Great! Bangarus fasciat fasciatus, Micrurus coralinus, Naja tripundians, Notechis cutatus, that is called tiger snake, King cobra, Oxyurans, they are a different. So I went through repertory and repertorized some rubrics. This is just for your understanding. All the rubrics are not belong to this case, but I wanted to show you the expression of Naja in repertory. See, delusion injured, 
is being had. Delusion injured is being surrounding by his. Delusion starved being. Delusion wrong everything is. So he cannot tolerate injustice. And see, at the same time, there is a conscienceness, conscientiousness, delusion, wrong he has done. And again, he feels that he is at disadvantage, delusion, wrong suffered he has. Delusion, neglected duty he is. Delusion, neglected he is. Delusion, superhuman control he is under. De will, loss of. Insanity, madness splits his head into two. Head will split into two. This split is there. So fire desire to be near to. These are the expressions of Naja. So this feature we found in the case sense of duty, sense of responsibility, high morals, anger violent, injury desire to, fear or fascination for snakes. There is a success and failure. See, in our case, what he was talking about, generally if you see, we have features of seduction and sexuality. This is common symptom among many snakes. But Naja is the exception. Naja is Indian cobra. And Indian cobra is respected as God. You know, just few days back there was a Naga Panchami. And, na and snake is respected as God, is worshipped as God. So there is a full sense of duty and there is a respect to women. This is a totally different feature you will find only in Naja. And what Sajni ma'am you said that Naja doesn't attack the person. It means there is no direct attack. When they find enemy intruding into their area, then only they feel troubled and when they feel troubled, they will give warning by showing their hood, by making hissing sound. But still, if you don't stop, then they get more troubled, they get more angry and then they will attack. So, Naja also attacks, only thing only the difference is they don't attack directly. They give you warning. And he told it that the girl who was abusing him, using abusive language to his mother, his father. So he first warned him, warned her. And then he did the thing what he wanted to do. But in that also, even in that the boy who was troubling him, he just explains few facts about, means bad things about that person to his girlfriend so that she went away. So in all these things, he never did anything bad with the girls or women. So he was respectful to the woman. And this is the quality that he described in case of Shivaji Maharaj. So this is the quality which is different from other snakes. So for this patient, I prescribe Naja. So Naja 1M was given because patient was at delusion level. After three months, his urticaria was completely reduced, almost completely, 90% he said. Stomach problem completely stopped because after eating chicken, he used to get diarrhea. So this patient was given Naja and his problem got solved. Very important part is that mother came for her uh, uh, treatment and she said, 
that he has become calmer now his anger has reduced and that is the most important part of the case now i want to show you one more case this is the case of miss v 21 years she is a student of psychology she came to me 3 years back she came for the complaint of acne and hair fall acne all over the face on chest and back facial hair growth indicating hirsutism i went to skin specialist for acne he gave lot of medicines and he said you may have pcod so and i have dental caries also so then she went for the ultrasound and ultrasound reported that she has pcod so it was confirmed actually she was referred to me by one of her friend because she was getting treatment for PCOD. I am doing research in PCOD cases. So I get so many PCOD cases. Every week, two, three cases are there. So she came to me for that treatment basically. But when we go for the case, we try to understand all the problems. So I ask her about problems. Again, this case is only short, not complete interview. So she said, my big problem is when I hear any word related to genitals, MC or pregnancy, I get fainting episode. This was completely strange for me. Even in movie, if hero and heroine come near to each other, I feel giddy. During the lecture of biology, when teacher said about uterus, I shouted and fainted. My friends took me to the hostel on wheelchair. I didn't attend biology lectures. Sudden vertigo. I can't draw figure of genital organs. She was student of science before that and she had to draw the figures and she couldn't draw it. I got giddiness in SSC exam. I get cramps in legs pain in ovaries. My face and hands become pale and I fall down or sit. Someone sprinkles water onto my face and then I become normal after some time. She said about another complaint that is pain starts six to seven days before MC. I can't wear jeans at that time. I want loose clothes. So clothes are intolerable around the West. I can't sleep properly. I can't even walk. If MC starts in classroom, I have to go to the restroom and lie down. I can't stand or sit or walk. I must lie down. My legs become weak. Can you see? Now you have got insight what to see in the case. So that's why I put in the red mark. Loose cloth is one thing. Second thing, my legs become weak. The feeling among snakes is I am limbless. So in many patients you will find they feel even though there is no problem with their legs, but their legs they feel weak. If anybody has disease or like or arthritis or something and then they feel it, they are weak, that is understandable. Here there is no problem with the legs and still they feel they, they are weak in their legs. My whole body is painful. Pain shifts from abdomen to thighs or legs and it is better by warm application. Bending forward and lying on abdomen. I get pain even without menses. So she gets pain in the ovarian region even though there are no menses. During menses there is dysmenorrhea. But even without menses she gets pain. I can't walk for more than 30 minutes. Previously I was a marathon runner. Now see the change has occurred. But I can't do that since one year. Pain as if bitten which aggravates after walking or dancing. 
there is unbearable pain as if someone is squeezing forcefully. I throw things in irritation. Body becomes numb. I feel chills even in the month of May. I feel so much pain that sometimes I say it's better to die rather than to bear this pain. Now see, with that pain, how she is feeling about it. The pain is too much that she wants to die rather than to bear this pain. MC is regular every 30 to 34 days. It is not too late. And this is very wrong misconception among many people's mind that if menses are regular, that means it is not PCOD. See, in 80% cases of PCOD, there are irregular menses, delayed menses. But in 20% cases, menses are almost regular. So irregular menses is not always a feature of PCOD. PCOD can be present even with regular menses. Pimples. Lot of pimples on face and back and chest also. When I take bath, lot of burning of face even with cold water. So there is a burning pain in face. When she washes the face even with cold water. Because there are so many pimples. Pimples are very painful and leave black spot which looks ugly. Observation, the patient is extrovert and talkative. So I mark it whether it is loquacity or what. Because she was talking continuously for almost one hour and I didn't ask a single question. So after that, I didn't understand which remedy is to be given. So I requested her that I will give you medicine by tomorrow. So please see me tomorrow. I will study your case and I will give you medicine. So she went home. In the evening, she got severe chills and fever. So her, her mother called me on phone and she said that she has taken four or five coverings and still she is shivering with chills and temperature is 101. So I took her case on phone call. So we have not prescribed any remedy. But I feel when the patient comes in acute, you can easily prescribe the remedy which will cover the acute condition as well as the chronic condition underlying it. Because sometimes there is acute exacerbation of the chronic complaint. And when we do the case taking, we, if we reach up to the level of sensation and energy, definitely it touches the right point and then there can be a kind of homeopathic aggravation, even with case taking, even without giving a remedy, because you show the mirror, you show the make the aware about that energy pattern to that patient. And so she got this acute episode, probably because of case taking, we don't know. And she said, She feels flushes of heat coming out from eyes, ears and face. So hot flushes are there and then there is a sweating. But even though there is a sweating, chills were there. She used to get same flushes of heat before menses. So leucorrhea is increased. So after considering the symptoms of that acute condition, one question I asked to her which was I had not asked in the morning case. So the question was how do you react to animals and see what she said. I can't withstand snakes. I can't see snake even in a movie or TV, television. I change the channel immediately. It is disgusting. If I can't change the channel, that means remote is in other person's hand, I go out of that room. Because I start getting pain in my lower abdomen in the ovarian region. See how she connected with her complaint. 
So that was the cause. See the sensitivity. So here I considered both the condition acute as well as chronic and report rise, fever chill with, heat flushes of chilliness with, heat flushes of menses before, <clears throat> heat flushes of perspiration with, heat flushes of euchoria with, faintness with pale face, faintness hysterical because she had no apparent reason of fainting, faintness exertion on because she can't walk even for half an hour, faintness excitement on that means after hearing, listening the words related to genital organs and the remedy came is lachesis. So remedy was clear, but which potency? As there is no gross pathology, no, but the state was acute and intense in that fever condition and patient was highly sensitive. So I prescribed Lakeshi's 1M single dose and then decided to wait and watch and ask her to follow up on the next day. So she made follow up, but after three days, there was no fever after medicine. There was only one episode after that, no fever, no hot flushes, felt fresh and energetic. And after six months, so she was giving follow up every monthly, after six months, her fainting episode stopped completely. Means after that medicine, she never got that fainting episode, even after attending biology classes. Dysmenorrhea reduced almost 90% and pimples reduced up to 80%. So this was the case, belonged to another remedy, Lachesis. In this, we saw her sensitivity to genital organs by, just by listening to those words she used to get fainting. This was completely strange symptom. And when I asked her about which animals or how she reacts with the animals, definitely you will find in every animal case, either there will be fear or disgust or fascination or liking. Liking means fascination only about that source of that drug. And when you get this, then you are 200% sure about your prescription. This is a case of hypothyroidism. So Mrs. Siley, 37 years old, married. She came for the treatment of hypothyroidism and she was showing her report. I observed that this is my method that I have a PDF file where there are some questions written. These questions are common to all. When patient ask me for appointment, I give them PDF file I send via WhatsApp or email and ask them to write the answer before coming to the actual interview. So I had sent her uh, PDF file and asked her to submit the answers, but she didn't submit it. And then she had written the answer. She brought it with her, but she didn't submit it. So not even after coming for consult in the consulting room. So I asked her, what did you do with it? So she said, I will read it for you. She was not ready to give it to me. I just observed this. And then she showed her report and her thyroid TSH level was 17.55. It was too high. You can see it and you can see the date is 23rd May. 2018. So I said, your lab reports are showing high TSH. So then it is hypothyroidism. She said, yeah, doctor told me the same. That means the allopathic doctor told the same and they started medicine. So I said, so then what's your problem right now? She said, this throat is irritating me. Now see, we have learned today that 
in animal remedies cases there is issue of one versus another me versus another so here they are trying to personify the things as if that throat is some other person and is troubling her this is the way she is explaining and i tell you what patient is explaining is always important but more important is the way he is explaining and if you can pick it up you can easily come to the remedy so this throat is irritating me when this thyroid has started i get discomfort in my throat so her throat problem is just irritation not pain but it started with thyroid problem and actually there was no swelling of the thyroid still there is a problem so when there is a pathology it is understandable it becomes a common symptom but there is no swelling and still there is a irritation it is uncommon and what we have been taught that whatever is uncommon that will indicate the remedy that is the teaching of dr anima so she feels as if throat is swollen so again this is feel as if it is not swollen actually heaviness and mucus in throat something is there which is obstructing post nasal discharge of mucus must clear throat so she is having some cold and so there is post nasal discharge and she has to clear the throat so i said tell me little more so i was taking allopathy for 3 years for thyroid huh? and this throat irritation but no relief so i took homeopathy which gave relief but started same symptom again after few months and she was prescribed thyroidinum 1m 1x tablet so it's a low potency triturations see what i feel homeopathy starts where the potency is there dynamization is there above avogadro's number before that it is material thing na what we believe is in the law of similar and medicine should be at a dynamic level because the disease is dynamic so medicine should be potentized up to the level that it becomes dynamic then only it can give you dynamic results so i feel sleepy in day time constantly i feel something is there and i keep clearing my throat but nothing comes out so actually when she got cold at that time only she used to get some discharge of mucus otherwise there was nothing and so there was just sensation of something foreign body is there in the throat but actually there was not and she was jumping from one complaint to another complaint so i feel sleepy in day time again she said i feel something there in the throat so she is not completing one so i consulted ent specialist seven to eight times for my throat irritation see the level of desperation how she was desperate to get the relief from that irritation i must take pause while talking i feel obstruction while swallowing i get worse when i get acidity there is constant hawking and i feel suffocated i like to talk much but i feel worse after talking so i get irritated i stop eating ice cream because of this but no use that someone told her that if there is a throat problem just stop eating ice cream intermittently hot flushes from body again totally different complaint so she was telling unrelated complaints in a flow this is one observation 
again she her age is 37 years so that is not the age of menopause but still she is getting hot flushes so it is uncommon so i noted it and why she has got problem because she eats she wants to talk too much so this is her loquacity and when she is not allowed to talk because of this problem then she gets irritated so her problem or the cause of irritation is she is not able to talk what she wants to do so what do you feel bad about so this is again a short case at one point she said i feel bad so i said what what you feel bad about so she said people are selfish see when patient describes about third person definitely they can see those qualities in third person fourth person what they have or exactly opposite of what they have this is the polarity so we always have to understand this so people are selfish they take you take our advantage see again we are weaker and other will take our advantage this is a feeling in snake remedy they ask for help and if you help them they never remember it they may be your blood relatives or else i feel so bad how they can do it i am religious i am extrovert i don't keep anything in mind see this is spontaneous denial just one minute before what she was telling that people are selfish if you help them they don't remember and they never return it that means she keeps in mind na but she is spontaneously saying that i don't keep anything in mind see this is the duality so i ask her selfish in what way if you help them they take your advantage they never remember that you help them and they can do anything any bad thing to you bad thing they will plan to take any more they will plan to take away more money from you or to harm you see she is perceiving that other people are planning strategically planning cunningly planning selfishly planning to harm you or to take away your money so taking away money is logical humanistic but to harm you this is something different and then she told about suffocation she said if light goes off during sleep electricity goes off then she feels suffocated and wake up suddenly like a spring now here you have to understand that it is not only the over sensitivity this is extra sensory perception that is there in the snake we have learned here that mammals have good sense of sight good sense of hearing but snakes have good sense of any change outside them with the sense of smell and sense of touch they can feel even milder change also and another quality i told you about snake is clairvoyance so even though they are in sleep they can understand that light has gone off there is much sweating i feel i will die of suffocation but it has nothing to do with my throat problem see again there is a spontaneous denial and our sir has taught us when patient is denying spontaneously even i tell you even in our our simple conversation also when person denies something spontaneously definitely there is a something 
we just have to find out what it is there. So she said, continued further, I don't like anybody touching me during sleep. I can't sleep between two persons because someone may touch involuntarily. So I always prefer side place. Otherwise, I feel suffocated. Again, see, there is an issue of suffocation. Even there is no problem about throat. So suffocation, when there is a tightness around throat, we can understand. But when somebody touches you in the sleep and you feel suffocated, this is something extraordinary. Na? So how much she is sensitive to touch that you can understand over here. Fears. When I asked her about fear, she said, I have tremendous fear of snakes. I can't see them even in photograph or movie or even on television. If I see snake on TV, television during dinner, I don't eat further. I feel disgust about it. I get dreams of snake before menses. I am walking and snakes come from all sides and I can't find my way out. I shout snake, snake and I wake up with bath in sweat. So much palpitation. Then I start chanting. So she does religious chanting and to relieve her fear and palpitation and after some time she gets relieved. So there is another thing is fear and aversion to noise. Fear of dark, being alone in the dark and fear of news of death. And again, she said further thing that I get hint of things that happen in future. Dreams of accident and dreams of death. It was so disgusting. I used to get news of death someone on the next day. So when she used to see in the dream that someone has died, she used to get the news next day. So you can say it is a clear voice. Dreams clear wine. I get dreams of snake before man says, I am walking. And snakes come from all sides and I can't find my way out. I shout snake, snake, and I wake up with bath in sweat and so much palpitation, and then I start chanting. Other complaints? Thirst, less but large quantity at a time. Constipation after non veg food. Sweat offensive. MC regular. 24 to 25 days with 4 days discharge. Leucorrhea before menses. Aversion to caution after thyroid problem. Varicose vein started on left leg. Mild cough. Hair fall with itching of the scalp. Pain in breast 8 days before menses. See, snake remedies means almost all remedies ever act on the central nervous system and endocrine system. But the snake remedies have to do with the hormonal system, especially in case of females. So this occurs due to imbalance in the hormone, breast pain, before menses. You can call it as premenstrual syndrome. History of infection in right eye one year back. I have neck pain and I diagnosed as spondylitis. I don't like anything tight around neck. See, this is a typical symptom. So I didn't like, so I didn't use cervical belt. So she was advised to take cervical belt and use it because of her spondylitis problem, but she didn't use it. I don't like crowd. This is another feature. Hello. Here all, can they unmute your mics? Yeah. 
So I don't make like it out. Last five minutes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I never go to crowded places, bus or train. I feel suffocated. So she feels claustrophobic. Irritation in other areas. I want everything neat and clean. People don't do that, which irritates me. I use bad words. I don't have control on me. I feel my head is hot. See, one feature is fastidiousness. Second thing, she is abusive when she gets angry. So analysis of the case, patient is secretive, not ready to submit the answers, jumping from one subject to another. Locasius wants to talk, but can't, can't talk due to throat problem. Doesn't want anything tight around neck. Claustrophobia, fastidiousness, foreign body sensation in throat, dreams clairvoyant, dreams of snake, dreams of snake before menses, aversion to tight clothing around neck, sensitive to dark, springs up suddenly from the sleep if light goes off, heaviness and pain in breast before menses. So here, when we analyze the case, sir has taught us the technique that first find out what kingdom that patient belongs to and then go for others. So here, what she said is, throat is irritating me. It like me versus you, personification. People are selfish, they take advantage. So it is me versus another. She feels other people are like enemy. They plan to take away your money. They may harm you. So this is me versus others. So definitely this patient needs animal kingdom medicine. Now sub kingdom. Dreams of snake. Fear of snake. Even a picture of snake causes disgust about snake. She rejects the food even. And people she perceives that people are planning to harm her. So these are the features which indicates the snake group. And I reporterized few of her symptoms. We are narrow places in claustrophobia, sensitive noise to loquacity, dreams clairvoyant, dreams animals of snakes, throat, foreign body sensation of. See, Argentum nitricum goes close with this because it has also claustrophobia. It has also sensitivity for throat because Argentum is the remedy for singers. Na? So here, the idea of differentiating kingdom is more important and it gives us easiness in selecting the right remedy. So if the kingdom is very clear, aconite is also going close to it. But aconite is plant, argentum is mineral, and the animal remedy is only lachesis. Sepia covers few symptoms, but it is not coming closer to it. So prescription was lachesis 1M. I repeated it once in a month for three months. And then TFT was done. And to my surprise, the TFT, which was TSH, which was 17, that came to the 7.5. Her neck pain reduced, breast pain reduced. Overall, 60% improvement, she said. So I gave placebo, wait and watch. And see, this is the report, which was done the next month. And then it came to 12.70 that this report I didn't ask, the patient only did it because she was more anxious about that thyroid problem. And then in the month of November, it came to 7.58. And then after few more months, it came completely to the normal 3.8. And she was almost completely cured with all her problems. There is no more irritation from throat and she can talk very nicely without any trouble. 
So I would like to take this opportunity to say a lot of thanks to the principal and the management authorities, vice principal of the RVS Medical College. And a lot of thanks to our beloved Guru Shekhar sir and the whole Swara family who gave me this opportunity to present my thoughts and my knowledge and experience to share with you that so that you can get some knowledge and inspiration. Thank you all. Thank you so much. And I must not forget Dr. Kirubashini who has taken a lot of efforts to arrange these lectures lecture series. This is not only limited to RVS college students, but as it is online and it will be kept on the Swara Homeo Gurukul YouTube channel so that anyone can watch at any time. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We had an amazing learning today and cases after the cases, we got a lot of inputs and practical knowledge which we can apply in our clinical practice. Thank you so much, sir. It was an amazing session. And thank you all yeah, it's for joining. Major.